Let's jump into the cell section. As you can see, now in this version, it has six level selling price. It has advanced quotation and easier credit control, provide self consignment and also a transfer to function. So let's go through it one by one. First, six level selling price. In this version, for every stock, user can now maintain up to six level of selling price and they can assign the selling price to different categories of their customer. How can we use the six level selling price? Let's go into the system. When you create a new stock in the system, you can see that under selling price, there are six selling price columns. Here, you can maintain your price. And once you have maintained your price, you can go ahead and click save. To assign the price according to your customer, you can go ahead and do it under debtor maintenance. You can go ahead and select your debtor, click edit. You need to go to the other step and add multi-pricing, you can select the price level. After you have select the price level, you can go ahead and save it. So next time when you issue a billing to this particular debtor, the price will reflect based on the multi-pricing you have selected before. And that is how you maintain the six level selling price and also assign the six level selling price to your debtor. Next is advanced quotation. So how does M1 quotation work? Let's look into it. So once a quotation has been opened, it is still considered as a draft stage. Therefore, the salesman can still edit the quotation. However, they cannot revise or they cannot transfer the quotation yet. Next, once the salesman confirmed the quotation, it will enter to pending stage where it will need to wait for the approval from the manager. Once the manager has approved the quotation, salesmen are not allowed to edit the quotation anymore. However, they can revise the quotation, but they cannot transfer the quotation. Same goes to the reject status. Let's say if the quotation has been successfully confirmed by the customer, then only the salesman can transfer the quotation to other documents, such as to sales invoice and so on. Let's say if the quotation is not confirmed by the customer or is rejected by the customer, it is Consider as a lost sales, so therefore the salesman cannot proceed further. Now I will show you how we use this advanced quotation in the system. If your company prefer to have a better document flow, you may consider using this advanced quotation feature. To create an advanced quotation, you need to go to sales. And here you can find the advanced quotation. Click new to create a new advanced quotation. When you create a new advanced quotation, you can see that the status show open, which means this indicates that this is a new advanced quotation now. So you can fill in the details. You can select your adapter and you can add in your item. Once you have filled in your item, you can go ahead and click save. After you have created your advanced quotation, you can go ahead and view your quotation. So when you view your quotation, you can see that the status changed to approve. This means that the manager had approved your advanced quotation. Now you can go ahead and mark as success or loss depending on your customer. If customer have acknowledged this quotation, you can go ahead and select success.
once the advanced quotation status change to success, this means that you can transfer this advanced quotation to another document. You see that your advanced quotation status shows success. You can go ahead and make a full transfer to either new sales order, delivery order, invoice, or cash sales. Or you can mark as loss if the customer have not acknowledged this advanced quotation. So that is how advanced quotation works in this system. As for sales in version 2.0, now it provides an easier credit control for this system. Now user can set a credit limit towards their debtor. Let's say any violation of this credit limit, the system will send a prompt message directly to the user screen and it will need the user approval to proceed. So how can we set the credit limit? Let's go back into the system. To set your credit limit to your debtor, all you need to do is go to debtor maintenance, select your debtor. So you can click under credit control here, you can set the credit limit and credit overdue limit as well. So once everything is okay, you can just click okay. And that is how you set the credit control for your debtor. Next, in version 2.0, it has improved its consignment function. It is now support bought sales and purchase side. The consignment now use transfer to link between invoice or return. Other than that, user can generate consignment listing or outstanding listing or out outstanding consignment report from auto account. User can also check the consignment stock balance from the report stock. There is also a new consignment movement report for users to trace their consignment item movement. So now let's look into the cell consignment first. Okay, so for cell consignment, I will be showing you how to create the cell consignment notes, how to trace the consignment item once you have created the consignment notes, how to issue an invoice for the consignment item, and how to issue a consignment return if let's say the consignment item has been returned. So to create a consignment note, you just need to go and click the consignment. At the new button, you can click new. So you can go ahead, select your adapter, and also you can add in your item. You can add in the quantity as well. So once you have filled in all the consignment details, you can go ahead, click save and preview if you wish to preview the consignment note report. Let's say after you have created your consignment item, now you wish to track your consignment details, you can go ahead and click at consignment movement report to check all the details of the consignment item. So here you can do the filtering option. You can filter by debt branch, by debtor, or by stock item. For example, I filter by debt. So once you have done the filtering option, you can go ahead and click the inquiries button. So once you have clicked the inquiries button, all your consignment item will be displayed. You can click the preview button to view the report. Okay, next, let's say if the customer failed to sell off the item and they wish to return back the goods, we need to issue them a consignment return. This is to acknowledge them that we have received the consignment good. To create a consignment return note, all you need to do is go sales. Here, under the consignment, you can see consignment return. So you can click edit. You can click new. You can select your debtor. After you have select your debtor, you can go ahead and click the transfer from consignment button. 
and you can go ahead and select the return consignment item. Go ahead and click save and preview. If you want to preview the report, So let's say if your debtor managed to sell off your goods, you need to create an invoice for this consignment item. So you go ahead and create a new invoice. Select your debtor. Okay, after you have select your debtor, you can go ahead and click transfer from consignment. So you can key in the amount. After you have selected the debtor and select the item, you can go ahead again, click save and preview. So this is the invoice that you can send off to your debtor for the consignment item. This is how the consignment sales work in this version. Next, transfer to. So what is the transfer to? To function is basically help us to transfer a new document from an existing document or transfer from an existing document to a new document. We can either do it a partial or full transfer, for example, to new sales order, to delivery order, to invoice, and also to cash sales. How do we use the transfer to in sales is quite easy actually. So all you need to do is let's say you create a quotation. So you just go ahead and click new. So you can go and select your adapter. Okay, so here you can add your item code. Okay, once you have created your quotation, you can go ahead and click save, or you can go ahead and click save and preview to preview the report. Okay, once you have created your quotation, you can go ahead and right-click at the quotation number. So here, once you right-click it, you can see that there is a partial or full transfer to new sales order, partial or full transfer to new delivery order, partial or full transfer to new stock, and partial transfer to new cash sale. So you can go ahead and just click it if you want to transfer the quotation. So for example, sales order. So this is basically a new sales order that has been transferred from quotation. So that is how you use transfer in sales.